Good evening, everyone. Susan Campfield here from SueStampfield.com. Welcome. Uh, you might be watching my Sue Stampfield YouTube video, or perhaps you're over on Facebook joining me either in my Sue Stampfield Facebook group or on my Susan Campfield Independent Demonstrator Facebook page. Wherever you are, thanks so much for being here. Thanks for joining me tonight. Uh, who's ready to do a little creative play? We are we're going really from scratch tonight. So um, I've got a few ideas, but I always appreciate your input. Uh, you've helped me pick the ribbons and the papers and the colors, and that's um, awesome. So I'm going to just loop this cord around so it's out of our way. And we're going to go ahead and get started. Now, last time we got Lisa here. Bonnie's here. Thanks for sharing, Bonnie. I appreciate that. Cindy's here. Oh my gosh, lots of you. Welcome. Happy Saturday. I hope you're having a good weekend. Um, it got a teeny bit warmer here in Minnesota. It's 21 degrees right now. Uh, it's going to get cold again tomorrow, but hey, that's tomorrow. So uh, it's a good night to stand and craft because it was windy today. In my last video, um, I talked about the new, let me grab them all. <laughs> new natural blends that are now available, the natural collection blends. And um, I did some coloring of some different images. Now I wasn't at home. Um, I was on the road. I was down uh, helping my mom out. She got injured and uh, she is doing better, slowly recovering. And uh, other family members are, are now helping her out. So I am back home, back in the studio. And I had all those colored uh, images that we did and I didn't get a chance to make them into cards. So I thought, hey, let's do it together. <laughs> so uh, 33 degrees in Alabama. That's pretty chilly for Alabama, isn't it? Um, we're going to go ahead and flip around. Thanks for sharing, Karen. I appreciate that. Um, let's switch to the other camera and let's do a little recap of what we made last time. And uh, probably not going to do all the images because um, there was a lot. <laughs> So there's my desktop camera. Whoops. Okay, that's top secret. That's uh, that note was regarding the February crafter noon projects that I am working on. Uh, those of you that oh gosh, this looks like a, the dog's got this box. Uh, ignored the teeth marks. Sorry about that. Um, those of you that participated, those of you that placed a $50 order in January qualify for the uh, February crafter noon packet. So those will be coming out. Um, I'm hoping to uh, send those out on the 10th, actually, of February. And then our crafting an event will be on the 20th. Um, I am actually going to do that as a public video again. So you will all have the opportunity uh, to join me and watch that. Um, and then there will be uh, a tutorial purchase opportunity afterwards if you are so inclined. So let's go ahead and get started. Thanks, Deborah. It's good to be back home. Ooh, 50 degrees in Southern Oregon. Nice. So uh, last time we were talking about the, uh, the new natural tone blends, and we we're talking about um, how doing a label maker uh, would help uh, being able to see those numbers. Um, I have really poor vision. So for my eye, my poor eyes, this uh, thousand, I don't even know if my camera is focusing there, um, is it's hard for me to see. So I will definitely be doing that. Haven't had a chance to do that yet, but I plan to. And then um, I wanted to share a fun chart that um, a demonstrator from France made that I thought was so clever. Now she used the all together paper. There's one pattern of this paper, this one with all the hands. And so she did those, um, she did the kind of two sets of them, <laughs> uh, combined them and did all of the colors on the different hands and then wrote the numbers uh, by the color. So that's another way that you could do it. Now the, um, the bronze and the ivory, those are colors that are already available in our blends. And then these are the new ones and they go from 100 all the way up to a thousand. So I thought that was a really um, a clever way to show the, the colors in a, so it's a different kind of color chart that you could make if you have the paper and you could just cut it in half to do all the, the hands and then, you know, you cut off the excess ones that you don't need. So it looks like she did. And this picture is, um, 
different sizing. So uh, don't let that throw you off, but you can get an idea there of what she did. So um, like it starts from here. It's, it's hard to tell because this picture is shrunk down a little bit and then it starts over again, I think. So yeah, like that. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to do <laughs> the dogs really chewed that out of this. I don't know. That must be from quite a few years ago. They they're more mature now. They don't do such naughty things. Well, yeah, they do, but not all the time. All right, let's pull in our images. So these are some of the ones that we did. We had the little girl catching the butterflies. We had the bunny. We had the hands. I did go ahead and die cut these out um, with the dies. So the hands came from the Here Together stamp set, and I used this die to cut them out. And then we have the deer from the Forest Friends stamp set and then the adorable hedgehog from, is it uh, Hedgehog Happiness? Happy Hedgehogs, huh? it was close, um, stamp set. So those are the ones I was thinking of doing. Now I still have, by the way, for those of you that were watching, I did find the otters right after I ended the video. They were right there. <laughs> and I still have lots of images I haven't colored yet. I had started the Viking. Uh, but I didn't finish him. Um, and so that one, I don't know that we'll get to tonight. And I've got some other fun images to color. So that will be in a future video. Um, but tonight we're going to do a couple of these. I don't know that we'll do all of them. But let's go ahead and start with uh, this one. So this one is a celebration stamp set. And I'm stalling while I find it. Here it is. It's called Catching Butterflies. And here's the stamp set. So I'm going to stamp a greeting on here. Uh, which greeting should we use? You make my heart happy. Celebrate every beautiful thing. Collecting sweet thoughts of you. So uh, happy, celebrate, or collecting. <laughs> if you want to give me a vote, 1.40 a.m. in the UK. Wow, Zaina, you are up early or up late? I guess you're up late. <laughs> I'm a night owl too. So, um, so let me know your vote. Happy, celebrate, or collecting. Let me know which one you think we should do on this card. And I have some paper I was thinking might work well with this card. Sorry, I'm leaning away from my uh, microphone there. I don't like that ring. Let's slide that away. Hopefully that's still uh, uh, okay. Um, Brightness wise, I'm going to zoom this up a little bit here so we can see uh, our little girl catching butterflies there and um, a little bit of something on my paper there. Okay. Oh, you're up late, Zena. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's hard sleeping in a, uh, a new place, right? All right. I am seeing some votes here. Awesome. Oh my gosh. It's pretty, pretty much a dead heat between happy and celebrate. So let's see, we've got one, I got to count now, two, three of those, four of those. It's really close. It might be a tie. I think, I think the happy is edging it out. So um, how about we do, you make my heart happy and then celebrate every beautiful thing on the inside. Would that be a good workaround? <laughs> see if I have any other votes yet. Nope. All right, it was really close. I almost think it was a tie. All right, this is I always, you know what? I don't clean my blocks enough. And when you guys are here, I pull them out of my drawer and I go, ew, Susan, you've got to clean your blocks more. Um, let's see. And celebrating will do on the inside. All right, that sounds like a good plan. I'm going to grab my tuxedo black. I'm going to go... Got to see a quick flash of the whole big mess there. <laughs> and it's a big mess. It's always a big mess. So I'm going to stamp, you make my heart happy. Right here. And 
Here we go. You make my heart happy. And then I have a piece of the Simply Marvelous paper. Now, both of these items are free right now. They're free celebration choices. This is the last chance to get your free celebration choices. Um, celebration is ending at the end of this month. So you can get the Catching Butterfly stamp set for free with a $50 order. That's this one right here. And I really think I, I think I should put some should I put some ground by her foot. She's kind of like floating midair. Let's add a little bit of ground. I haven't even put the sticker on this one, but that's okay. Unless you guys want me to show you how to do the sticker. That's we've done that a couple times, so we'll we'll do that another time. Let's uh so I've got a trick for that, you know. All right, I'm gonna do the ground in mm, I think I'm gonna do it in early espresso. Could do it in black. Apparently, I'm going to throw the early espresso <laughs> ink pad on the floor. Oops. Since her hair is brown, I feel like the ground should be ground brown too. Sometimes the first time I use a stamp, I like to test it on a scrap paper. Does anyone else do that? Here's a little little scrap from my cutting desk. So make sure I got the hang of it. Okay. Just going to have her... I'm going to ground her a little bit so she's not floating in midair. There we go. Now she's on the ground. <laughs> and let's close this up. All right. Let's go here. And we've got our Simply Marvelous paper. So we've got that side or this side. I am thinking, hmm, I'm going to have you guys vote. Uh, I'm going to call this the darker side, and I'm going to call this the lighter side. So which one do you prefer, the lighter or the darker side? And I'm going to get a card base for us here. All right, darker, darker, lighter, darker. Looks like I've got a few more votes for the darker, and it probably does pop just a little bit more. I think either one would be a great choice, um, but let's go with the uh, popular vote here of the darker. So I'm going to just take a basic white card base. It's cut five and a half by eight and a half, and I'm scoring it at four and a quarter. Could also put this on a Blushing Bride uh, card base. It was totally out of Blushing Bride, but it came in, whew, got some in, so that's great. So let's go ahead and grab our adhesive right in front of my face. Ooh, this one's running really low. I love the Simply Marvelous paper. It's Simply Marvelous. <laughs> And it's free. Free is a good thing. So this one is a six by six paper. All right, there we go. And then we're going to put this right here. I am going to pop that up on dimensionals because it's just kind of how I roll, I guess. I, I like the dimension on my stuff. So you can see on the back side that the alcohol markers do bleed through the cardstock. That is normal. That's what's supposed to happen, actually. And then, uh, as my friend Pip in the UK would say, no soggy middles. So we're going to add a dimensional right in the center there. I sometimes forget that. All right. And we'll layer that right up on there. Oh, we've got a dimensional paper that wanted to, oh, a couple of them that wanted to stay. All right. So we've got our card. Now I... I like to add a little bling. Um, anybody else out there a fan of uh, bling? Oh yeah, I think the darker was some really a hands down winner on that one. Thank you everyone for your opinion. I appreciate it very much. All right, so I'm gonna grab these. The oh whoa, <laughs> hold on. I got 
I got my hair in there. What the heck? Okay. These are the iridescent rhinestones. And these are one of my new go-to favorites. These are in the January through June mini catalog. They're awesome. Um, I know they've gone at times on back order. I honestly don't know um, if they are right now or not. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and use them because they are lovely. I'm going to use the biggest one. And then two of the medium ones. You could also do a medium one in the middle and two smaller ones, or you know, whatever you wish. Um, they have like kind of pinks and yellows in them. I'm picking ones that have a little more pink in them just because that's my paper in the background, but they do kind of change um, in the light, so it doesn't really matter. All right, you do not want to go where I want you to go. There we go. So we've got a little bling on there. Now we also could add a ribbon, maybe. Um, not sure. The ribbon matches her really well. It doesn't match the paper behind as well as I would like. Um, I think I might actually leave the ribbon off. And I think we're just going to uh, leave it right there with the bling and then let's just do our inside message again. I don't even have the the sticker on this one yet, the label on it. Um, and you know what? I am going to take a minute to put it on because <laughs> it's words. The, the ground, it didn't really matter if I got it upside down, but I don't really want to get the words upside down because my card's all done and that would make me sad. So I'm going to peel off my label here. This is my favorite way to put my uh, labels on my blocks. So I learned this from another demonstrator and uh, demonstrator planning place, and I don't recall who it was. So I'm going to just stick the label down to my block. I'm going to peel the backing off of the label. So this is the really sticky side. Now the other side is a um, temporary, you know, stick that will release, but this side is the permanent. Oh wait, I don't even know if I have the right. I think I've grabbed the wrong image. Uh -huh. It was celebrate we wanted for the inside, right? I think so. All right, so we're just going to take our uh, label on our block here. We're going to hover it right over the stamp. I'm just going to make sure everything looks lined up. Press it down. And then now that label is perfectly adhered right where it belongs. I'm going to go ahead and open up my card, put this on the inside. Don't want that card bouncing and getting a double ink splodge. Splodge? That's not a word, Susan. No, I just made it up. <laughs> All right, we're going to do celebrate every beautiful thing right there. And I think we should throw one little butterfly on the inside, don't you? I think so. Just to carry through with our butterfly theme. A little butterfly right there. And then one other thing we can do with this card is we can add a little strip of the paper across the bottom just because we can, right? Getting dirt on my card. There we go. So I'm going to grab my paper trimmer here. And, oh, I think I'll make it, oh, what do you think, three quarters of an inch? Let's try that. And I'm going to do it, um, I'm going to do it short. I'm not going to do it the full length. I'm only going to do it at five and a quarter. Could do it either way. doesn't really matter. You could go all the way across. I'm going to just do it right there, my off camera, probably. All right. I like adding those little finishing touches on the inside of the card. Um, it just kind of brings the front through to the inside. I think sometimes the inside gets uh, short shrift, if that makes sense. <laughs> It gets kind of forgotten, like, oh, I did all this stuff on the front. I'm just going to sign it. Um, I'm going to grab this one, which is 1,000. It's the pinkish one. 
and just give this little butterfly some pink color. Also use the petal pink blends. All right, so there we have one card done. How are we doing on time? Mm. All right, I better get cracking here. All right, so I have, what do I have? I have, all right, we're not gonna have time to do all of them, so we're gonna have to do some choosing. Let's pick a critter. Do we want to do the hedgehog? the deer or the bunny hedgehog deer or bunny let me know Ooh, wink of stella on the butterflies mm, and on the net oh yes okay no ribbon though all right well you guys are voting for the bunny the deer or the hedgehog um everyone says that we need to add some wink of stella and i think they're totally right i tend to forget about my wink of stella I, um, I had the opportunity to present for a group of demonstrators in Australia yesterday uh, via video. And uh, they some of them, their favorite tool was Wink of Stella. And I sometimes I forget about it. Now, you're probably not going to be able to see this um, on camera, but maybe let's try it. It's very subtle, which is one thing I like about Wink of Stella. I don't actually like to add too much because I think that's a little uh, overkill. So just uh, it's just an accent, right? All right. So let's see. I hold it up close so I can brighten up these lights at all. Let me see. Yeah, I'm just not showing up on the camera, but there is Wink of Stella on there now. <laughs> All right, so let me see what you voted for. Uh, let's see, I've got a lot of bunnies, a couple hedgehogs. No love for the deer, but lots of bunny love. All right, bunny, bunny it is. I like this bunny. All right, maybe we'll have time to do the hedgehog too. All right, so we've got our bunny, which I colored with the blends. And, you know, you also could leave part of this light um, lighter in the center. Um, I like the kind of all over brown bunny. I thought he was really cute. Um, we have some options for this bunny. We could do. Get our options out here. Come on, Susan. Let me get a move on. All right. So we actually could do uh, the Simply Marvelous paper again either side in pink or yellow. Oh, I'm a sucker for the pink every time you guys I tell you. Um, we could do the Simply Marvelous or we could actually do um, an embossed background. So first let's vote on DSP or embossed. DSP or embossed. And if we go with the DSP, you guys can tell me if we want to do um, what color we want to do. So grab a card base while you're thinking. So DSP or the embossed panel. DSP stands for designer series paper. It's one of those, uh, demonstrator shortcuts that we take. So if I ever say that term and you're not sure, don't hesitate to call me out and say, Susan, what is DSP? It is designer series paper because that takes a lot longer to say. <laughs> um, let's see. We do have some votes for both. But I think I see a few more for the DSP. So we're going to go with the DSP. And I need you to vote pink or yellow. Uh, pink or yellow for the DSP. And then we'll decide what side we want to go with. I'm just figuring out what I want to do here. I think, I think we might need a ribbon for this one. Boy, the white ribbons are getting, I need to order more white ribbon because it's getting to be slim pickings. <laughs> All right. Um, I see two for yellow and two for pink. 
Now I've got three for yellow and three for pink, four for yellow, four for pink. <laughs> it's a dead heat, you guys. Woo! <laughs> uh, all right. I think you guys are, are going to be okay either way because, um, you know, we did do the pink on the first side and the first card. So why don't we do the yellow on this one? And I did see several people saying the lighter side of the yellow. So let's go with that. Hopefully you're okay with that decision. Can all, if you disagree, you can always make it yourself, right? With your own supplies, your own Simply Marvelous paper. Always an option. Um, I'm going to do kind of a bigger border on this. Wait, what size, what size is this piece? I think it's three and a half. Yep. All right, I'm going to try this at three and three quarters by five. I might not like that, but guess what? I have more of this paper, and I can cut a different piece if I decide to do that. Let's try this. And we'll, we'll double check on which side we want. The bunny is adorable, right? So here's our card base. Here is the... Um, Simply Marvelous DSP, the lighter side. Here is our bunny. You could also do him this way. I kind of like it that way. You could also do the other side, but I agree with you. I think that's too busy. Let's go with the lighter side. It's just a little bit softer and more muted. And then let me grab the stamp set that goes with that so we can look at our greeting choices. I think Happy Easter would be a good way to go. Um, so, mm -hmm. can't decide if I want it uh, landscape or portrait. I'm thinking it might fit better with the greeting if we do it uh, landscape. So let's go with that. Let's grab our Happy Easter out here. Let's grab a block here. Happy Easter. And let's see here. <laughs> I have that piece that we practiced the ground on. <laughs> I could use that for my happy Easter. Talk about lazy, right? All right, let's just go with black here. Paper has two sides. Happy Easter there. Mm, darn it. That did not work out for me. I didn't press firmly enough and I missed my and the bottom part of my Y. So I'm actually going to have to get a different piece. Fortunately, I have many such pieces lying about. I bet you do too, right? <laughs> no shortage of white scrap paper, right? Let's see if I can do a better job there. Oh, okay, that's much better. Much better. Grab my trimmer here, back in, and I believe I did that at five inches. So let's see what that looks like. All right, so we've got our paper right here. We can have this band going all the way across if we want. And we can have our bunny right here. Nope, I think I'm just going to cut out the words. So, grab my trimmer again. Sometimes I do this with greetings. I stamp them on a piece that's longer than I need, and then I just trim it to the size of the words. I'm not really paying attention to the actual length of the paper, so it's probably an odd 
measurement, uh, but that way I don't have a lot of excess paper on each side of it. Hope that makes sense. Anyone else do it that way too? All right, so there is our little bunny. Here is our happy Easter greeting. Still not sure. Let's try it this way. I almost think I should have done the paper a little bit bigger. Not lazy, resourceful. Uh, yes, I love the little ducky in this set. Uh, in fact, he's floating around on my desk right here. He makes me smile too. He is adorable. Adorable. All right, let's go ahead and let's go with this. I think I could have made that a little bit bigger. Let me see what y'all think here. All right, so this is a little bit bigger with just a quarter inch border. I don't like that better. Yep, I'm going to go with that. All right. Get some adhesive on the back here and put our bunny together. And I am going to pop up on dimensionals because that's pretty much how I roll. And then I think I am going to add a bow to this one. Not sure about bling, but I definitely want a bow. So I'm going to add some dimensionals here to the back. And a couple more on the greeting. All right. Hi, Jewel. How are you? Trim top of bunny off a little. Hmm, that's a good idea. Too late, though. I think I've got the dimension. Well, unless the dimensionals will come off, and I don't know that they will. Let's see. Sometimes they will. Oh, that one did. Sometimes they won't. Oh, we're okay. I think the sooner you can remove them the easier it is to get them off if that makes sense after that adhesive sets up mm, it's not so easy are we going to trim down the top of the bunny a, a wee bit took off a quarter of an inch there that was judy's uh, um judy's suggestion thank you judy and then we've got our happy Easter right here. And we can add a bow to this card. Bow or ribbon. Let's try just a faux bow, which is just a knotted piece of ribbon. At least that's what we used to call it back in the day. I've been a demonstrator for 24 years <laughs> and we've had a lot of different terms that come and gone, kind of go out of fashion. And there we have the bow. Or we can add the bow up here by the Happy Easter. Kind of like it up by the Happy Easter. <laughs> All right, let's put it right there and let's um, let's do one more card really quick. All right. There we go. Getting the glue dot on me and not on the bow. <laughs> All right, there's our sweet little Easter card. And let's put that aside. And then we've got, let's grab a hedgehog here. And this um, ornate floral background. I've got a hedgehog that's just buried in flowers right now. 
and I'm going to make this very simple, a uh, very simple card. Let's grab our um, Happy Hedgehogs stamp set and see what our greeting options are here. Um, it's so nice of you to be so nice. That's cute. Finding a friend is the best discovery of all. We could also do um, a saying from one of my go-to sets right now, the Special Moment Stamp Set. Um, this one is another free celebration one. And let's just go with a nice, um, a nice happy birthday for this one. Or you know what? Maybe thinking of you. A lot of friends that are under the weather right now. Um, so let's try thinking of you. We have a block here. And the same scrap of paper. I'm determined to use this scrap of paper, aren't I, guys? <laughs> so funny. Here we've got our thinking of you. I'm just going to trim that down a little bit here. Don't even know if you can see the trimmer. I think you can. Okay. Thinking of you. And this will be a very simple card. Just grab my card base here. I know white and white seems really boring, but I actually, I really love it. <laughs> kind of in a, you know where you get kind of in a, um, a zone of sort of using the same thing. Right now, like a lot of white just is very appealing to me. It's just a very clean look. So, um, so we're going to put our little hedgehog up here. All right. Do you think we should do the card uh, landscape? Or should we do the card portrait? Landscape or portrait? I don't think I've ever seen a hedgehog either. <laughs> One of my customers, uh, I think it's her daughter and son-in-law raise hedgehogs. They have like 10 of them. I didn't even know that was a thing. Uh, and she said they come in all sorts of colors. They even have an albino one, but they're usually like uh, cream or brown and black or gray. I've got a lot of votes for landscape. All right, awesome. Thank you guys. So we've got our little hedgehog right here. Let's uh, maybe offset that a little bit. Let's put some dimensionals on the back. And finally got to use my scrap of paper, didn't I? <laughs> we have thinking of you right there and our little hedgehog right here. I like overlapping it just a little bit. And then I'm going to add a, I, this is the last of this ribbon. I love this crinkle white ribbon and I am completely out. So uh, I have just enough here. I make a couple bows. Let's see if we can make a little bow here to add to our hedgehog in the flowers. Here we go. And again, I'm going to add it right to the corner of the thinking of you right there. Now we also, we didn't even get to the deer and I had a piece of embossed uh, timber embossing uh, uh, folder here. This one, I think I would put him down in the bottom. I also like this one on a lot of white. So I will have to, uh, well, you know what? I have another card base. I bet we could finish this one up super fast, right? 
and let's see if we can make, let's see, I've been on for um, not quite 45 minutes. So four cards in 45 minutes, that's pretty good. Granted, I cheated because I had already done the coloring. <laughs> so uh, it's not completely a fair uh, assessment, but well, we have some new comments here. <laughs> Paula says she always wants to iron that ribbon and so does Bonnie <laughs> not a fan of the cream I, I like that when I go to one of, to a clothing store and they sell those tops that are crinkly and I'm like no it just looks messy <laughs> it just looks like it needs to be ironed so um, I think that deer is pretty pretty cute um, and I think it would also be cute with I'm um, sorry I'm going to borrow the thinking of you here um, I think the deer would be really cute with the thinking of you as well. Um, just a very uh, clean and simple card there. Um, sorry, Hedgehog, I stole your thinking of you. I liked it better on the deer than I liked it on the hedgehog. This would be kind of a guy card, so I don't think I would put a a bow on this one. Um, probably not any bling either. I should have gotten more adhesive at the bottom. Fortunately, I can get it up still. <laughs> because embossing folders, they sort of change the way your paper, um, they make your paper, uh, I don't know the word. Um, it's almost more like a fabric um, where it can get a little bit uh, less dense or wobbly. So there is very clean and simple uh, deer card. And then our little hedgehog, I need a different greeting for this one. Um, what do I have on my desk here? Let's do that. Let's do a, a messy desk um, grab here. We have just for you. How about that? I don't even remember what set it's from, but it's from a set. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right. Let's see where I put the black ink. Here it is. All right. And then we'll, we'll do a quick little recap of our cards that we made tonight. All right. Before I stamp my just for you, I'm going to grab my handy dandy pick a banners punch. I love this one. I'm going to do a little banner. Make sure I am in straight. I like to flip it around. Otherwise, sometimes my banners are a little bit wonky. And we're going to go with just for you. Please stamp straight, Susan. <laughs> uh, yeah, it'll do. It's straight. It's not very good quality stamping, but fill it in a little bit with a marker. That little trick is always helpful, right? I'm going to actually put that over there. So there we have our, I'm going to move this one over. The advantage of having a heavily embossed paper, those dimensionals um, are kind of uh, movable a little bit. So let's do a quick recap on our cards tonight. I've got a bunny card here. Where is our girl catching butterflies? Where did she go off to? What cards did you make today? I wanted to remind everybody that Monday is in here in the United States is, I don't know, let me put it down here. Um, in the United States, uh, Monday is um, send a card day. So uh, who, who are you going to send a card to? All right, I've lost the little girl. Oh, here she is. I found her. This was our first card we made. So we got a few of the ones that I colored made into cards. We've got a few to go, but we got a good start on it. So thank you so much for helping me decide what's what. This hedgehog might get moved around a few more times. Haven't decided yet. <laughs> thank you so much for joining me. This uh, Let's slide you over here a little bit. There. Can you see them okay? Kind of. Not really our deer, our bunny, our hedgehog, and then the girl catching butterflies. Oh, get you to Galentine cards today. Oh, this one would be a really cute Galentine card, actually. 
Galentine's Day is February 13th. And we're gonna do some fun things with that um, on my Sue Stampfield Facebook group. So I'd invite you to join that. And if you are not currently subscribing to my, oh, we didn't get to use the hands. That's the one I gotta do next. Okay, we'll do the hands. Um, if you're not currently subscribing to my weekly free project sheets, I'd invite you to do that. You can do that at www.suestampfield.com and hit subscribe. I'm gonna switch cameras here. Thanks so much for being with me tonight, everyone. That was fun. Thanks for all your help on uh, designing those cards. And we'll see you next time. Have a great night. Bye-bye.